and welcome to the first ever Milne Epic. Today I want to look at a solution to the smart home. I would like for all of my smart devices to work off one app, not 75. And I would like all of those devices to work when I'm at home without the internet. That is a major issue for me and hopefully Rory, you can help us out. Okay, so what we're talking about is an industry that's growing extremely fast. There are many, many smart products available online and in stores. Trouble is, they all or mostly require internet connectivity to work even if they are online. So uh, you'll find that even with the uh, voice assistants, they, they won't function without uh, internet connectivity. If you ask Siri or Google Assistant something and there's no internet connectivity, they won't even know you're asking questions. Uh, in South Africa, Samsung is a big brand, uh, it's well supported, and they have a load of uh, smart products. All of those require internet to connect, so that wouldn't really tick the brief. Um, Xiaomi uh, is a Chinese brand who have a huge basket of smart products. They have what they call a Aquara, which is their version of a hub. This product brings their products together but ultimately simply connects those products to the internet so that their app will work properly. So if the reliable telecom internet line that I have goes down, um, you're saying that if I'm sitting on my couch and try to switch off a light, it won't work. Correct. <laughs> Philips Hue has a hub as well. Uh, they are traditionally a lighting uh, company and a lighting solution. But they do have a list of friends of Hue, uh, which are compatible, but that compatibility is restricted to Zigbee devices. So it doesn't make it a, a very well-rounded home solution. There is one true hub, uh, and that is called the Habitat. And this Habitat has local processing. The devices connecting to it are able to uh, be controlled without internet, potentially, but it uh, means that those connections to the hub cannot be through the device's online APIs because in the name it implies that you would have to be online to connect to those APIs. So it can be a little bit hit and miss with regard to controlling when the internet has gone down. And what, are, what are we talking about uh, in South African hunt? Uh, it's about, once you've gotten it into South Africa, you've been for about 4,000 that's a fair amount of runs. It's a commitment. No, but also, I mean, don't forget, there is options such as uh, Home Assistant, which is uh, open source. Um, you also have the ability to run it on multiple platforms like VM or a Raspberry Pi or PC for that matter. Um, as far as integration with light switches and your, your cameras, or you know, just creating something as far as automations go, it's brilliant. Um, you have a dashboard that you can customize to your heart's content um, to, to be able to control these. Um, you know, from a, from an internal perspective or your internal network, that's all you need for it to operate. So even if the internet connection was done, you'll still be able to control uh, your light switches and things around that. Um, but that's a great option. But from what I've heard and what I've seen, you need a master's in engineering uh, electrical engineering, you need 10 years experience in uh, development and you need to have uh, a degree in IT networking to get it to work. No, I don't think that's necessarily the case. Look at this more for the DIY at the, at the end of the day, someone that's a little bit more uh, capable or willing to sit with them to figure it out. Um, but the gist of it is it's, it's uh, you know, it's manageable. I don't, I don't think it's, it's hard at all. Um, but no. you're, but you're, you're smarter than me. Um, the other thing is you said it was open source. So, you know, there's one guy in the garage putting this together. No, absolutely not. I mean, there's 3,000, over 3,000 contributors uh, for the Home Assistant platform. Uh, so they're very much focused on trying to get new users to, you know, use and adopt. Okay, I'm sold. I will take a Home Assistant server and put it into my home and there's just one more thing I'd like to control though. 
Is there any way I could get Home Assistant or anything else for that matter to control my family? Sounds like a bit of a trap. What do you mean control your family? Uh, so my son will play Fortnite and rage continuously. Uh, my little girl will play YouTube on any device she can find. And my wife will scroll through Instagram and Facebook on the regular. I see. Okay, so you're looking for a bit of control on your internet connection. Well, there is a product by Disney called uh, The Circle. Um, it's quite capable, lots of features. It costs about 300 US dollars. So three million rand. Many, many South African rands. Uh, or you can pay $129 a year. No, it's a discounted million rand a year price. Many, many uh, rands a year. Um, interestingly, it uses a technique called op spoofing, which is very effective. Uh, so effective, in fact, it's the choice of hackers. Yeah, and don't forget, I mean, the newer route is, is, is basically being created. Well, the, the functionality around it um, is to block spoofing. Uh, so I think a much sleeker way of, of managing it would be through DNS. Um, and Home Assistant's got a solution around that. They've got um, an add on uh, called uh, AdGuard. And AdGuard is very capable and customizable as far as you know, the content that, that goes out to your family. So you, you're very much in control as far as safeguarding the, the content that goes through your family. So if uh, my little boy overheard daddy saying boobies and then he types in boobies in Google, what would happen? No, look, I mean, something like that will basically pop up a ad guard a notification saying that uh, that's not allowed. I love that. Let's check it out. Hi. Right. So, here's the child. Here is the game. Watch. Inresponsive. Sebastian. Sebastian. Sebastian, Sebastian, nothing. Now, time to see if Kimmy's little ad guard works. I shall throw it up. I shall open Home Assistant. And I will simply click Block Fortnite. And let's see what happens. There you have it. One fortnight successfully closed. One child successfully, skillfully removed. So go eat dinner. I'm calling you. Have a look at the links included if you want to find out more about the products you've heard about today. Yeah, and uh, I will supply some information on the DIY options uh, if you're that way inclined and also elaborate a little bit more on the ad guard and how you can configure that to say quite and if you love what you saw you can go to our website and purchase the pre-configured raspberry pi with home assistant as well as ad guard so you can protect your family from the dark web thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you soon where we dream up something epic. That's a wrap! <laughs> <laughs>